Mr Helmer. Thank you. Mr Helmer. Uh, well, thank you very much, uh, Madam Chairman. And I, too, have been following the debate with interest. Um, uh, I think that my constituents in the East Midlands of the United Kingdom will be delighted to hear that the 2020 programme includes a fast track to innovation and a stairway to excellence. Uh, but uh, I wonder if at a time when uh, budgets, national budgets for welfare and education uh, and other social services are under so much pressure, whether my constituents would entirely understand this committee sitting around uh, and stressing the importance of maximizing the funding for this program. Uh, we're talking about a very large sum of money. Um, but that sum of money will be uh, split up over a number of years. Uh, it will be split up between a number of subject headings and between 27 or is it 28 member states and many institutions and projects in those member states. And of course, as usual with any European project, uh, much of the funding will be absorbed by administration, verification, evaluation and so on. And I would just like to ask colleagues to reflect whether they consider uh, that this program run at the EU level is the best way to achieve value for money, uh, or whether it would be better if these programs were initiated and run and managed within member states. I wonder indeed if the main objective of the 2020 program uh, is not so much uh, research and innovation, uh, but whether it's uh, aimed at creating patronage and relevance uh, for the European Union.